guys, it's been a long time since I've updated and since I posted a video or a check-in. And I thought, what a, what a great time to post the week that they turned one. You heard it. These little guys made it to their first birthday. And I thought about how I wanted to do my check-in and how I wanted to come back. And what I wanted to do with the channel while I've been gone, because I've still been documenting, I've still been taking notes, but I was like, how do, how do I want to return? Because I started the channel just talking about their journey and making it focused on them. But I'm going to change that. And I'm going to kick that off on their first birthday and say that this channel is going to be, and these videos are going to be focused on um, their journey, but also my journey. The NICU journey is unique for every single parent. And whether you're a preemie or a micro preemie, um, and your parents of either one of those, they could be filled with ups and downs wherever you sit on that journey in NICU is your journey. I want to be real and raw and, and uncut at the expense of people perhaps judging how I feel and, and my thoughts, and that's okay. Um, because there are feelings that you're going to feel as a parent in this journey that you're not going to want to share with everybody. Um... And so some people who know me who are on this channel might be shocked at the things I'm going to say because they're going to go, you've never displayed that. Well, yeah, because I what? share that with everybody. But now I'm sharing it with everybody, so it seems weird. And I'm also not a share, so this is a big step. Um, but there are feelings that you're going to have that you're going to feel guilty and you're going to think nobody has it because nobody talks about it because I think a lot of people are ashamed to say it. And so um, that's what you're going to see a lot of. I'm not by I'm no means in an attempt to project my experience um, and make it your own but just provide um, one window into somebody's journey knowing that you're going through the same one. We can walk alongside each other in that. And I know I've shared it with some other parents, um, but they weren't necessarily NICU parents, and they were like, well, you could do this, and you should be happy for this, and they're absolutely true. But until you've walked in this journey, and another NICU and micro premium parents, you know what I'm talking about, you can never fully get them to understand. So I'm going to say this knowing and being thankful that you guys understand a little bit. And it could be on the range of, I lived my whole life in NICU for those three or four, five, six months I was there. I didn't go to work. Um, life went on outside of this bubble and I feel like I missed so much. Or you could be like me where you had to go to work while they were in NICU and you feel guilty. Um, and you have to process that and release that however you can. Um, and I'm I'm currently just now processing through that. There were so many immediate things that were going on while they were in the queue and once they were discharged um, that needed my immediate attention where I just had to kind of roll up my sleeves and fight through it that I'm just now processing it. And it, so it's the surreal thing of I'm just now kind of, it's just now hitting me what's going on, but they also hit their first year. And so here I am with my horse voice because I'm sick, um, bringing you along to this journey. Um, kicking it off on their first birthday and starting with um, their pregnant, my pregnancy story, my labor story, the first weekend, Nikki, we're going to start from the beginning. And so you're going to see videos like that, but I'm going to start off um, with the thoughts I have as a parent on my kid's first birthday post NICU as a preemie mom. So I'll probably see that tomorrow, the day after, somewhere in there when I have time. Um, so be on the lookout.